I live in a world where all are one. I live in a world that knows unbound love. I live in a world with smiles galore. I live in a world that hopes and gives. Is your world as beautiful as mine? I am in this field and I want to do my best how I can keep them happily occupied no matter what caste, creed, community they come from, what background they come from, whether they come from no economic background, we look for sponsors, if they come from very two families still, all the things are same for both the kind of um, children. So yeah, that is Advita and we like to be different from others. Their primary activity at the center is imparting vocation in the space of handicrafts. The students are involved in extremely fine and intricate craft work which helps in channelizing their energies constructively and keeps their attention focused on one task. This disciplined hard work eventually results in finished products with impeccable perfection and unmatched quality. Their expertise lies in enhancing a host of lifestyle and utility items ideal for personal use and gifting purposes. The biggest thing is, all these products are being really manufactured in slums. So there are 27 beneficiaries in slums who make our products. And then, the pretty work that you see on our products is all value addition done by our kids. So products are made in slums by women who are sole breadwinners of their family. And the value addition is done by our kids. At Advitya, they use music and dance extensively as developmental therapies and have trained dance instructors who visit the centre to teach their students a variety of dance forms like folk, film and fusion. They also offer yoga as a form of exercise and recreation and have witnessed how dance and yoga serve to boost confidence, facilitate free movement and act as an aid to a healthy lifestyle for their students. Namaste. Music has the ability to represent emotions through sound. The music and singing sessions engage and appeal to many of their sensory strengths and needs. The students sing from their hearts and really await their music class. I started with this dog therapy and you won't believe most of my kids, 90% of them were scared of dogs. Today they all sit in one room, they dance for the dog, they play with the dog, they want to come and cuddle, they want to put their head on their body and just lie there. It's just amazing to see that everybody are off with the fear and they all wait for Moshi, that's the name of a dog, to come and just be with him. 
So, and it has worked amazing because we have seen a lot of anxiety. Uh, quite a few of our kids who are facing has really come down. Indoor recreation, board games, and outdoor activities are an integral part of their alternate therapy plans and recreational modules. They believe these raise and nurture their curiosity, analytical skills, problem solving ability, and molds them to become better team players. Coming from a media background, I had no clue about how to handle special gifted adults. It was not that what we learned in our three years course, but coming out here, I have really evolved as a person and I'm really enjoying my journey out here. In India, society doesn't accept the skills at all. I would not even say easily, not at all. They think they are mad, they are like a curse to the family. These are the kind of things that come up and we try to tell them, we try to educate them. They are the most indecent lot. They are the most amazing soul God has sent them to me with a purpose. Let us all together help them, give them a lot of love, care and affection and it will help you change your life. When we started off with this journey, we didn't expect to get a chance to work with an NGO as great as Advitya. Advitya became a getaway from our mundane, occupied lives. The love we received from the students is something we will never forget. Their infectious smiles, uproarious laughter, their ability to turn our bad days into great ones, their innocent childlike gestures is always made us smile from year to year. You know, generally, all of us speak or think of taking efforts to understand them and eradicate the stigma attached to them, but never take any initiatives towards it. This project gave us the opportunity to empathize with what they go through in their day-to-day -day lives. We interacted and felt a beautiful connect which we'll always cherish in our hearts. The one thing all of us learned while volunteering is how affectionate and kind-hearted these students are and every day we went home learning something about humanity and love. By filling our bag full of memories, we knew it was going to be an overwhelming goodbye.